The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. This is the AR-210 from Yamaha, the entry-level water sports enthusiast boat, but you're not going to think it's entry-level when you see the features that it comes with. Come on aboard and I'll show you what I mean. In the cockpit, we've got an aft-facing lounger that connects to a wraparound seat. Between the seats, we have 38 inches. Height from the deck to the top of the seat, 17 inches. The helm is nicely laid out and very comfortable. I like that there's a nice visor over the gauges. You've got fuel, dual RPMs, speedometer in the middle, and depth gauge over on the port side. I like the rocker switches, and I really like that there are circuit breakers right on the side of each switch. This boat is also equipped with no wake mode. You advance the throttles to the idle position and then engage the no wake mode and it maintains a steady RPM so you don't have to worry about fiddling with the throttles while you keep in the slow speed mode. To disengage, simply move the throttles or re-engage the switches. I really like that there's a stereo right at the helm instead of a remote control. You also have a tilt steering wheel and the seat also comes with a flip up bolster. I like that the throttles are mounted on the horizontal and you have full range of movement both forward and aft. And I also like that there are two drink holders because you inevitably put stuff in your drink holder, glasses, suntan lotion, whatever, so you might as well have two. One can be used for holding beverages. Right in between the two consoles, we have a large cooler that measures a full 25 inches by 14 and a half inches, and it's a full 18 inches deep. You have another storage compartment in the sole. It's a cooler, but you can also use it for holding life jackets, whatever you want. You won't be able to hold skis or wakeboards, but don't worry, because in this port side storage compartment, you've got storage that goes forward all the way underneath this port side forward lounger. And while you've got this door open, you latch it into position, close the walkthrough windshield, and it does a nice job of blocking the wind on those cool days. Now the wakeboard tower, very beefy and secure. I like that it's arched back so that your attachment point for the tow line is behind instead of in front. And I also like that it is a full seven feet, one inch off the deck. Moving forward, we have standard storage under both of the loungers. They measure 20 inches out over here. 16 inches out. The space between the cushions, 24 inches, and as we move towards the bow, 19 and a half inches. Going all the way from the bow to the back of the seat, 46 inches, which is plenty of room for lounging and laying your feet straight out. Now it also comes with a filler cushion that easily drops into place. I'd really like to see this filler cushion be made into two pieces just so it's a little easier to handle and easier to store. And all the way up forward, we've got another compartment that's used for holding your anchor and anchor line and a three rung bow boarding ladder. Of course, the heart and soul of any Yamaha sport boat is this trademark transom. Great seating area, nice for watching the swimming in the water. Got a table here and there's also the remote control for the stereo. Well, there's the AR-210. If Yamaha wants to call it entry level, so be it. But with all the features this one comes with, I have a little trouble with that phrase. It comes with everything that you saw here as standard, including the dual axle painted trailer with swing away tongue. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.